Uh, my goal today is for everyone to leave here. Um, you're going to make a hundred bucks by doing something different. A hundred bucks a day for the season. If you make a hundred more dollars <coughs> than last season from something you took away here, that's what I want. That's that's an easy goal to attain. Because I, I don't know about you, but I like money, and and I want to figure out a way to make more of it. And part of it is. Animals are just a tool, the grazing is just a tool, the fences are just a tool. What is it exactly that you want? What do you want at the end of the year? What do you want for your environmental goal? How much money do you want to have in your, do you want to, um, do you want to have a life outside of farming while you're farming? Uh, again, this is probably the, the weak link in all this is we, we don't plan for what we really want. Uh, I need, I've got a 10 acres of pumpkins that I need to send to New York City to make my living. And those pumpkins, the man down there says, I need orange pumpkins on October 15th. How do you make that happen? Don't you plan? So you look at the package, you monitor the soil and whatever, whatever, and you put the seed in when you think, when conditions you think are, and you put the seed in the ground. In 90 days, you got pumpkins. How, how often does that work? You just go, 90 days, put it in the ground. In 90 days, the pumpkins are all orange. And you put them on the truck, you just count the cash. <laughs> how, how often does that happen? Not very often. But what does happen on a pumpkin patch? Deer Deer. Rock. Rock. Oh, everything happens. And then some pumpkins, for whatever reason, are early. Some are right on. And then some are like they sit there and they're green until till whenever. You can never get them. They're only orange on one side. You got to flip them so they get more sun, right? And so so the, the rain, the window is somewhere in here. And we can't control. All we can do is put the seed in the ground, put some fertilizer on it, and but we had a plan. What do we do? Well, you know, the grass grows, and then we think it's grown enough, and we put it back in there. Yeah. And then we go, oh, geez, I really wish I had more grass. But we never get into the, the planning mode, the nurturing mode, the thinking mode. Most Here I am, they're eating grass. <clears throat> then I walk my farm, and I could say, geez, I got enough grass for two weeks. And you could plan that out, where they're going to go. And then when they start grazing, you keep planning on another two weeks, a month, maybe two months. And if you've got a plan for two months, you know what that does? Relieve stress. It's, it's a constant <coughs> reminder at every meal, there it is, that this is what you're doing, and this is what yesterday held, and this is what you're forecasting tomorrow to be. So it, it's been great. It really has. It's a piece of paper. It's a pencil. No right way or wrong way. And take a stab at it and try something different than you did before.